Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about yet another potential of a tropical storm brewing in the Caribbean and also two disturbances in the Atlantic. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family that may be in the path of this storm. So let's kind of delve right into it here is the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. These are the two areas that we've been kind of talking about over the last several days. Out in the Atlantic uh, yesterday, they actually bumped it up to a 50% chance of this developing. That actually came down to a 30% this morning. Uh, it's about 500 uh, miles southeast of Bermuda, and it kind of kind of ran into a lot of shear. But it is moving a little further south uh, later on today, and it'll get into a little bit more favorable environment. So by uh, Sunday, this has a possibility it could spin up into a subtropical uh, storm. If that would have happened, it would be Kappa, but it's got a narrow window as it moves northward into more sheared environment. The good thing about this storm is it's not going to be impacting uh, land. It just might develop into another named system. And there's also another potential system out in way out in the Atlantic by uh, by Portugal. And that gives it a 20 percent chance of, again, another storm that could potentially be a, a subtropical type uh, feature. But again, no impact to land. So. But let me kind of take you take you into the uh, satellite picture and kind of give you a big picture of what's actually happening here. Um, you can see the swirl out in the middle of the Atlantic, and uh, this is kind of elongated, and that's why they only give it a 30% chance. But there's definitely a swirl out there. As this kind of like gets uh, closer, compacted together, this actually could be named a uh, subtropical storm would be Kappa. And also so this other little feature here, they, they highlight a 20% chance. You can get you can get to see a little bit of swirl, but it's not, it's very elongated. There's definitely no low level center at all. But now let's take you back to the Caribbean. So a lot of you have experienced a lot of sunshine over the last uh, several days. I hope you had a great uh, Thanksgiving out there yesterday. Um, but we are still watching this little tropical wave that really hasn't gone anywhere. It's by uh, Panama. And this little tropical wave here that's approaching uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands. And this will actually move westward over the next uh, several days, getting into this still conducive type of environment. And because this area is a little kind of hanged on by the coast, I was always concerned if this area got out in the open water, it could spin up into a tropical storm. And that appears that it might be the case later on down the line. So let me show you how this is uh, going to play out. First, uh, this little storm uh, out in the middle of the Atlantic has been named uh, Invest 99L. So like I said, if it does actually form into Kappa, then uh, it will just basically move out into uh, the open waters and not really impacting uh, uh, land as it did impact uh, Bermuda several days ago already. But now let's kind of take you in uh, where uh, this is the uh, ver velocity potential index. We kind of look at this index to kind of see if we do have some rising air motion in that uh, in an area. That's what you kind of need for a uh, you know thunderstorms to uh, rise up and kind of develop. And you can see still over the Caribbean over the next five days until December the second we still have that upward rising motion air. So that has not gone away, even though you've experienced a lot of sunshine over the last uh, several days, this area still still has the potential to have uh, some tropical storm development or up, that upward rising motion. We need this little orange area to swing over here to really uh, mitigate or you know make it almost impossible for any uh, thunderstorms uh, you know, to develop and we'll start getting to a drier time. But over the next two weeks, we don't really see that happening. Here's the December the 2nd, December the 7th. Um, 
you can still see that green area right over the Caribbean. This is the area of interest that we've been kind of zeroing in on south of uh, Jamaica by Panama, by Costa Rica, back into Nicaragua. This is the area that still has that green, has that upward rising motion. It's not until the week of the 7th here, December the 7th until December the 12th. Finally, we see that orange and yellows kind of move over the Caribbean. It is going to be almost impossible for uh, tropical storm development to happen then. But that is 10 days from now. So what's going to happen between now and December the 7th? Let me show you. So as I was a little concerned this morning, as I was looking at several of the updates, here's the latest that GFS model it kind of shows you this area of concern by Panama, by Costa Rica. It's still kind of hugging the coast, right? Here's this uh, upper level low. It could be a subtropical feature uh, forming later on into Sunday into Monday. And uh, this is by Sunday, right? And so this whole area is still active along the coast but by sunday you can start to see this developing low pressure start to kind of spin up as this wave by the u.s virgin islands actually gets closer and kind of meets together right and as this that uh, will move out away from land to kind of move a little bit back over uh water this kind of gets its act together and so let me kind of take you through uh tuesday so now by tuesday you can really see all the darker reds and darker uh, yellows kind of firing it up and this is what you kind of see to look for for a tropical storm development or try to have a, a low level center and this is on tuesday but by wednesday now we see those thunderstorms really kind of congealing together and this would take it down to a thousand three uh millibar uh, so it could possibly be a, a, a tropical storm by then unfortunately in that same general area that's been just hit over and over again and um gosh this would be devastating if this were to happen again but it's starting to look a little bit more likely that we could have another storm kind of brewing out of the caribbean in this same general area so that is on wednesday so now let me take you through Thursday it kind of really gets its act together so now we're developing into a stronger uh, tropical storm this would be a 995 millibar this is right off the coast of Costa Rica making a beeline into Nicaragua again this would be devastating if this were to happen but look by Friday I mean by Friday this could be almost on the cusp of another hurricane uh, by then as it really starts to get its act together and still moves um, you know in the general vicinity of Costa Rica into Nicaragua and this is by Friday so by Wednesday and Friday that could be the days that could really start to ramp up in a big way so I kind of wanted to give you a warning out there that we're still a little bit susceptible of a tropical storm developing in the Caribbean because of that upward rising motion air the 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 the, the, the more very warm waters the very deep ocean water so that this possibility is definitely on the table and that's just not one operational run this is the ensemble members run so this is con just consisting of 31 different members of that particular model and look i mean we've got uh, several members not just one we got at least 10 of them out here that uh, shows hey we could have a tropical storm by then and from tuesday into wednesday and then by thursday we could have a formidable tropical storm on our hands uh, getting its act together and really start to develop in a big way you can s you notice when these things start to develop in a tropical storm it does not take much in this environment to really kind of uh, ramp up in a big way so luckily we only have a, about a maybe it looks like possibly a two-day window where it could potentially form and make landfall so hope it doesn't get terribly too strong we are december i mean we're talking this is the end of hurricane season november 30th but that's just the season uh you know this year has been very active and we still have uh, environmental conditions that are still conducive for tropical storm development i showed you that sinking air but that's not until the seventh this is the third so we're still in that upward rising motion period where this thunder this tropical storm could uh, develop and let me take you look at look at the spaghetti models and it kind of shows the same thing by friday from thursday into friday looks like that time frame where we could have a tropical storm 
entering that same area from Nicaragua, getting into Honduras, down into Costa Rica again. A lot of these members have it a, a kind of a memorable uh, tropical storm, but some of them have it a little, even a stronger storm. And this one, look, this, look at this. This would be a hurricane, unfortunately, if that were to happen between a 960 and a 979, basically let me look at that Th three times in the row what what are the odds of a storm landing the almost the exact same space what you know within several weeks apart you know three times in a row but gosh unfortunately this could be uh, a likely scenario that could be unfolding uh, next week and here's the gfs model here's the precipitation water index look at this Th this is the uh, the amount of potential water in the atmosphere it's been bone dry over the Caribbean over the last several days, but that changes in a big way next week. This storm would get its act together and look at the look at the the wrapping feature, the banding around this as the deep, you know, two to three inch rainfall rates start coming together and expanding as this develops, this will expand. And so as this expands, the rain expands. So now we're talking you know, rain showers and thunderstorms back into uh, the island of Jamaica, getting into the cups of uh, the Cayman Islands, uh, deepening, you know, flooding potential again for the uh, the Bahamas, for Costa Rica, getting into Nicaragua. And so this would this is potentially that's on the table. And look at the the vertical velocity uh, cyclonic index. I mean, that is a formidable storm right there. I mean, that would be next Thursday into Friday. This is solid banding around it this could be potentially a hurricane uh by then so that is definitely something i'm concerned about uh next week and obviously the rain would be another major player as this gets get its gets its act together hugging the coast here's jamaica here's the cayman islands but as you get closer to closer to the shores of uh, panama into costa rica getting into the same areas of nicaragua i mean these yellow these purples are again topping 15 20 inches of rainfall so this would be devastating if this were to come to fruition but I want to give you kind of a heads up that this possibility is definitely on the table for next week. Obviously, I'll be fine tuning this along the way. Uh, but hey, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this uh, video and definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.